morning everyone happy saturday hope you're all having a great saturday and having a gonna have a great weekend so i thought i'd take you today around in a little bit of a day in a life i know i haven't uh i don't think i've done put a video up in over two weeks on my channel um i've if you follow me on instagram you know i've been sick uh with a really bad chest and sinus infection and I had the flu as well. I was really down and out for two and a half weeks. I'm still not good. Um, my voice is in and out constantly all the time. So it's been a struggle because <laughs> I've been hosting a new show. And uh, it's it it's like I'm doing everything I can to keep my voice just so I can get my hosting done. And then by the end of the shoot, my voice is back on. So anyway, um, my house has kind of fallen in around my ears. <laughs> it's a little bit of a disaster. It's a disaster because they're in the middle of construction. Um, so everything is just shoved everywhere um, because of the great wall of construction on the other side of my living room. But also I have not had the energy or willpower to do any sort of cleaning or I haven't done any cooking. I'm basically out, out for the past week and a half because I just didn't have it in me to even cook anything. I've attempted to take stuff out to make and I just couldn't do it. I just didn't have the energy. So um, today uh, I'm trying to regain my house. It is really much of a disaster. A lot needs to get done. I don't know how much I am going to be able to get done but I have a list together so I'm going to try that. So I thought I'd take you with me. Um, and so it's kind of a day in a life and also a clean with me and an errands run and there'll be a groceries in there because I got to put a grocery list together. I haven't done groceries and oh god whenever the last time you saw the haul on my channel was it's probably even three weeks ago. I've just been picking up the odd thing or something like that. So I will uh, I'll show you my list for today because I have not only my household chore list but I have a lot of work related stuff I have to get done as well or at least attempt to start it. So I will show you uh, what I have on the go for today. So this is my very extremely long to-do list from what I want to cook up and have ready to go. Um, the housework, as I said, I haven't done any housework and I really mean it. I haven't done any housework in weeks. It's been awful. And I have some a work list that I have to do as well. So um, my focus for cooking is I have some fajitas. I have, lot, I have some peppers that I got a good deal on last week. So I picked them up, but then I just didn't have the willpower to do any cooking. So I took some chicken out. So I'm going to make a bunch of fajitas and probably freeze a little bit so I can take it and hurry out. Um, I'm going to make some chicken curry. I have uh, some cherry pie filling that needs to get used up. So I have a pre-made crust in the freezer. So that will be a very simple put together. If I have the energy and willpower, <laughs> I may make some bread later today. Um, for household, I have to put a, some sort of grocery list together and I have some stuff I have to return to Walmart. So um, I'll be putting that together. Um, I have laundry and bedding to do, to clean the bathroom, the kitchen needs to get good tidy and good cleaning. Living room needs to be done, the bedroom needs to be done, the office is, just a, za is a disaster because Everything got thrown in the office when I had to pack everything up and take everything down. So I gotta do that. Uh, Layla's kitty litter guys got to go. Garbage and recycling and sweep, mop, and vacuum where it needs to happen. And then this is my list for work. Whether any of it, all of it, or some of it gets done, um, I have the script for uh, episode four four to type up. Um, I still have to go to the office to grab some more throws and stuff to finish it. Um, I have my book that I've been working on forever that I meant to release a long time ago. And I've just been busy with my regular day <laughs> of working and everything else. And uh, I just have never finished it. But I really want to get it done. Cause so I'm hopefully, hopefully, hoping, <laughs> sorry, hoping that I can finish it so I can get it published uh, by end of November um, so hopefully you'll we'll have a few weeks that people can order and purchase it um, leading up to Christmas and then there's a show that I've been putting together well 
I haven't been put together. I partially have it all together that I did years ago that I wanted to work on. And so I really want to put um, that, start putting that together um, so we can hopefully um, get a backer for it and and publish it. So I need to do the outline, the episode breakdown. So it's called a show Bible because it just gives you all the information of how the show is going to be put together, what's it going to look like, um, and all of that. So... This is more like a, it's not, like it has episodes, but it's more of like um, a mini series than a long series. And I'm not going to go into detail of what the subject matter is right now, just because that's my show I'm working on. (laughs) And then um, I have an equipment cost wish list to break down for, so we can do more freelance um, stuff on the side like I have some gear um but just the cost of getting a good decent uh camera that we can go like I'm looking at black magic and and how to have the cost of kitten kitting that completely out and then um you know getting everything I need to like have a basic full going ENG kit um together so um yeah so I need to put that list together and that is my, like, I'll see how far I get. Gosh, I might only get three things checked off this at the end of the day. <laughs> Who knows? Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm still trying to heal. Yeah, so I got to the doctor yesterday and uh, I got scolded because I've been trying to fight this for two and a half weeks on my own. And I just couldn't do it anymore. So um, I had to go to a walk-in clinic because I don't have a doctor and uh, which was a really good clinic because I think I was in and out in half an hour which is you know never happens even when you have an appointment with your doctor you're never in and out that quickly so that's crazy um so anyway I got in and he gave me a scolding because I guess I'm just so so congested he doesn't think it's pneumonia he actually was worried he actually asked me a question he goes do you have COPD and I was like no (laughs) I never smoked in my life I don't never had COPD um so yeah he said he's I'm really 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 congested and that I should have been um (laughs) to see him long before now so I'm kind of still fighting this whole thing um so I can only do what I can do I do have a very long list but I might find that I gotta do three things and then that's me tapped out for the day so we'll see how it goes um, I might actually add one more thing to this list. I like I started buying Christmas presents and stuff, and then just in an attempt to try to keep things together and not all everywhere and getting banged up. And that, I might actually start wrapping them. I know that's crazy. This is what the twenty sixth of um, October, and talking about wrapping Christmas presents. Oh my gosh! But I started buying them, so I'm just like, well, you know, it's kind of therapeutic. I find wrapping presents. Um, but yeah, anyway, oh, all the brightness, um, eh, oh well, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna start plugging away at this, I gotta get something to eat, um, I might go take a shower, actually, uh, not far away, um, there's a little community, and they're actually selling lobster rolls, um, and th- they sold them, um, like about a month ago, during, um, the Scarecrow Festival, and the money went towards this little community park, which is really cute and pretty. It's just at a really busy intersection. And I saw at the park, they had the sign there saying that this Saturday from between 11 and 1, they were going to be selling the lobster rolls again um, for like 10 bucks, which is an amazing price. And they're pretty good. They don't put too much mayo in it. That's a, a lot of places just pile the mayo on, but there's a lot of lobster and not a whole lot of mayo. They're actually really good. And like, ten dollars for a lobster roll you can't beat that price because when you get order lobster a lobster roll in the restaurant you're paying at least 17 or 18 dollars upwards of 26 dollars for a lobster roll i am not joking because lobsters are so expensive right and they just up the price because this is no scotia and we're known for our lobsters um so anyway they're selling them for 10 bucks so i'm assuming there's a lobster fisherman that was able to catch them or something and uh, and so he's probably donating some of his lobster catch. I'm assuming. I don't know. I'm assuming, but uh, donating some of his lobster catch anyway to help uh, 
to help with the, 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 I think all the money goes towards looking after this park, so that's his contribution, I would say, probably, because I don't know how they make a profit at $10 a sandwich, honestly, I don't, but I'm going to take advantage of it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I might just go jump in the shower now, and then I'll go drive up to that park and uh, get my uh, lobster roll or two. I just stuck my wee list together. Um, oh, I want to add one more thing. I wanted to get the cabbage, and I want to get some potatoes. Um, I know there's potatoes on sale at that low, that uh, cheaper grocery discount place, but it's in the opposite direction I'm going, so it'll end up just costing me more anyway in gas, so it's not worth it. Um, <clears throat> uh, I want to make some... Uh, Cool cannon. I'm just kind of craving some cool cannon. Um, so I'm going to pick up some sour cream for the cool cannon, some potatoes, and the cabbage that's on sale. And uh, pick up some immune, immunity. I saw somebody, who, who was it I watched a video of last night? I think it was um, Dee from Dee Lovely Life, and she had the immunity tea from Tetley's. So I'm going to pick up some of that because um, I've been drinking a lot of tea and honey lately because that's what's just been holding my voice so long enough so I can, you know, record my hosting shows that I need to record. So anyway, I'm going to go head out now um, and get my little lobster roll <laughs> and then head to the little grocery store. Got my lobster roll. I'm so excited. It's going to be so good. I can't wait. I'm actually going to probably eat it on the way. So I'll have it eaten and I'm not going to go in uh, grocery shopping I'm hungry because we all know what happens when we do that. I just want to drive all the way to the grocery store and realize she forgot her list on the kitchen table. Who does that? This girl. Oh well, I'm going to have to do it by memory. Alright, so I am home. Uh, groceries are still in the car. Um, I'll take them out. It's fine. It's cool enough outside that they're, they'll be fine for another half hour in there. I don't have to worry about them. I just took my uh, crock pot off my uh, stove here because I'm going to... <clears throat> the chicken is pretty thawed. So I'm going to stick the... Spice them up for the fajitas. Stick them in the oven. And then I'm going to chop up the um, chick, uh, chicken thighs. And then um, put some salt and pepper and brown them up in uh, the saucepan. And then I'm going to stick them in the crock pot with some curry uh, sauce. And um, I picked up some broccoli florets that I'm going to throw in there as well. So I'm going to stew it all together. So I'll get those on the go. So, yeah. And I got my Tim's. I went and picked up a Tim's. Um, I wanted a tea with some honey and I know I, I just bought tea, but this is done and I don't have to make it. <laughs> uh, I don't even like honey. I don't like honey and I don't like, like, I like sweet tea, like cold, like iced tea, but I don't like, um, um, I don't like hot tea with like honey or sugar or anything in it, but I've been getting used to it, um, just because it's good for my throat. But anyway, I'm going to get these spiced up and stick them in the oven. Okay. Turn some light onto this situation. And just line that pan. And what spice can I put on this? I think it's, I think this is fajita. fajita spice so we're good there so I'm just going to take this off so this is a fajita spice pack from a fajita mix at one point so it's got a flower in it because it's usually meant to but I'm gonna do this because there'll be some water coming out and I won't lose it all because I'll put the rest of it when I do with the peppers but I'm just gonna sprinkle that put these over and roll them in it cup no Thing 
to 375 and start. And I'm going to stick this in the oven to cook. All right, now I'm going to take some avocado oil here. I need to get my tripod. Um, I'm just going to put it in the pan. All right, so I found my tripod. It's it's uh, been about 20 minutes or so since you last saw me. Um, I had to take a seat and get a little rest for a bit. Um, so the chicken is like probably close to being done. It smells really good. So I'm just gonna take all these chicken breasts, or chicken thighs rather, out. Defrosted them a little bit more so they have a chance to <clears throat> you can make it easier to cut. So, I'm just going to cut these up into little chunks and stick them in the pan. So I do have, I have two jars, I have a tikka masala and I have a korma, so I'm going to do the tikka masala. I don't think that even sort of focus. And so I'm going to split it up actually, because I'm going to be putting broccoli. And then I have a jar of honey garlic sauce as well, um, that I should use up. So I'll put broccoli in both. Um, and I'll split the chicken up. And so I'll make a curry with this sauce. And then I'll use the honey garlic sauce with some broccoli as well, and I'll stick it in this dish and put it in the oven for a bit. So it'll give me lots of meals to work with. So I picked up those today, broccoli florets. <coughs> a head of broccoli was $3.99, and this was $3.99. And I think they were about, they get about the same amount. <laughs> So I'm going to take the broccoli and divide it up. I think these are washed and ready to go. Yep. And I'm going to put half of it in here. There. With the curry, the other half is going to go in here. this I'll scoop in and this just has salt and pepper on it right now that's all I did I'll put half of that in there and then the other half is in this casserole dish with this broccoli for the honey garlic. So I'm just going to pour that over. Okay. And that 
that's ready to go in the oven. And this. Oh. Oh. Dropping everything. I have a catastrophe here. All right, this is the crock pot, so I'm gonna shake this up. And I'll pour this over. And I usually put a little bit of water in the jar and so I can get every little last bit out here. All right, so I just stirred that. My phone shut off. So it's all mixed in there, the broccoli and the chicken with the sauce. So I'm gonna stick that and turn it on the crock pot. So these are the peppers I got last week. They were $1.47 for four, which, um, like the four pack, which is a fantastic, fantastic deal because you can pay $6.99 for like this. So I'm gonna sl uh, wash these and slice them up and I'm gonna put them in the pan with some avocado oil and the rest of the fajita sauce. And uh, we'll be good. just um, the one pack of those peppers. I think that's more than enough with all this chicken. So we'll make enough for a couple of meals. And so I'm just going to cut up an onion here. I keep my onions. Dee, Dee from The Lovely Life was asking the other day. Um, <clears throat> about what they do to prevent from crying so much when you're cutting your onions and I tend to keep my onions in the fridge like in a little crisper drawer and that seems to help tremendously unless so you're not crying as much I find you know the odd time if you get a really really strong onion then you know you might tear up a little bit but I, I'm pretty good. So, there is my peppers and onions. And I'm just gonna get some avocado oil. Just put that in there. Find this pan sticks a oh. lot. And then I'm going to take the rest of this and just sprinkle it over. And I always put a little bit of water in as well. I think it helps thicken up because I think that's what it's supposed to do because of the flour that's in that spice mix as opposed to thicken up. Alright, that's washed, so we're ready to go to cut the chicken. So that chicken should be just should be done if it's not all the finish in here. So I'm gonna turn that back on just to medium. I'm gonna take these chicken pieces and I'm gonna slice them up. <clears throat>
cook right down and that will be good to go. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Alright, now there's the list I forgot to take with me but I got everything on it. I can't believe I did. So I'm going to start scratching things off. Alright. So I did the fajitas because that's cooking there now. The chicken curries in the crock pot. And I also did honey, garlic, chicken, and broccoli. And I can check that off. Don't you love when you can check things off? I went and got the groceries. Layla's here supervising. You're not supposed to be on the table, Lay. Alright, so I still have quite a bit to go, but I got a few things. These two bags. Minus the broccoli and some cupcakes and a case of water come to a hundred bucks, but some of that what does Time to put these away. So I just did my grocery haul So this was everything kind of an overview of what I got um, It will be up before this video is so I will stick the little card up in the Corner there if you wanted to have a look and that is just it So that's done It started to burn, but I caught it before it ruined the whole thing um, yeah, and I added a little bit more spices to it. There wasn't enough in the fajita. So I just had some Greek spice, sort of. Sun-dried tomato and garlic and things. So I sprinkled a little bit of that on. And then I had this, like, barbecue smoked apple wood stuff. And so I sprinkled some of that on. So it has a different flavor, but it tastes really good. <clears throat> so I'm just going to, um, put it into some containers and, um, I'll keep a container out for supper tonight, and then I'll probably put a container in the freezer. There it is. Honey garlic chicken is all done. Broke it up into two meals, and I'll probably serve it over rice, which is delicious. And so I kind of want to have this for supper tonight, but I'm going to have the fajitas. So these are going to go in the freezer, so when I have some night that I'm working crazy and I come home. So I'll it's about two hours later. I just heated up um, the fajitas for supper. I'm going to eat this. I had to lie down. I got my energy tanked, so I'm really behind my list, but you know how it goes. So that was my pot with my curry. So I've just separated and I start getting my freezer here now, so I got two dishes. So I got some two meals ready to go. So there's my curry, there's uh, the rest of the fajita. And then those are the honey garlic chicken. So that's what I have on the go. So I've got what, one, two, three, four, five, and there's actually about two meals in there. So about six meals out of my prep today. So that's good. So I just wanted to share something uh, with you that I got in the mail. Um, this is not sponsored, I did pay for this myself. But there is this lady and she crochets these uh oh, I think I'm missing. but they're not doing a very good job all right so these are here so they're facial exfoliators and so she crochets them and they have like um they're kind of like a more of a scratchy but not scratchy if that makes sense like it has the it's actually soft actually and so, um, yeah, so hand crocheted by Shauna. Um, and yeah, they're, I was really looking forward to trying this out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep um, a set and I'm actually going to gift a set to somebody for Christmas. <clears throat> so they came in the mail. She uh, sells them three, they're washable and reusable and she sells them three for $5. So I think that's actually a really good deal. And, uh, yeah, so she sells them through her Facebook, so I'll see if I can find a link to her Facebook, and I'll put it down below. And, uh, yeah, she just does email transfers, and then you just add a little extra for the shipping, and she'll, she'll tell you how much she needs. And she ships them out right away, immediately. So, yeah, so I'm going to, I'll link that down below. I'm really excited to try these out. Um, they look really, really nice. She has them all in a bunch of different colors, so... Anyway, yeah, that's, so those are it. It's facial exfoliators, hand crocheted by Shauna. I had to take another lie down. Oh my goodness. Uh, 
Oh my goodness, don't think you can fight things on your own, people. Especially when it's a chest infection for two and a half weeks and it's not getting better. So don't do what I did and wait. Oh, I can't get over it. It's, gonna, it's viral. They can't give me anything anyway. Uh, so my energy is just is completely zapped. <laughs> so um, I stuck my throws to write for my script next to my laptop. So... I am going to type that up in a little bit, <laughs> just not at this moment, I'm, I'm too pooped, <laughs> so I'm just going to take a little bit of a rest, and uh, I don't know, I might read, I'm trying not to fall asleep, um, just because, and, and I desperately need sleep, <laughs> but it's um, just because of, um, I didn't sleep all last night, because, um, the steroid I was on, they warned me that when you first start it, it can cause, like, you to be really alert, and so I was wide awake, literally all night, and it was around 7.30 in the morning, because I could tell by how light it was outside, like, that I knew it was around 7.30 in the morning, and that's when I drifted off to sleep, and then woke up at 8.30, so I've only had an hour's sleep. So, I'm just going to have a kind of a rest, um, but hopefully not fall asleep. Um, and then I'm going to get up, and I do have to do some laundry, and I have to type up that script, so that will be next. Alright, so, um, it's many hours later, and I took a rest. I didn't sleep, which is good, because I really didn't want to sleep. Um, but I just kind of rested. I watched some YouTube. I watched, um, uh, I was watching Janine at along with the Youngs, um, getting an update. She is also sick too, so there must be something going around, you know, <laughs> that's going across the province that time of year, I guess. So I hope she doesn't get it as bad as I do. <clears throat> so hang in there, Janine, if you're watching this. Um, uh, uh, yeah, so I was watching her. I was watching um, Tracy at uh, Nova Scotia Living. So she had posted um, kind of like a two-day vlog. So it was uh, it was a nice chit-chatty two-day vlog. So it was a nice long one. So I kind of rested there and watching those. And I see that D has just uploaded um, for oh, Lay. Um, I see Dee has just uploaded a video of Dee from Dee Lovely Life, um, Cooking with Jay, which, ah, oh, I can't wait, I'll watch that later tonight. That's gonna be, uh, oh, those two are just so cute together, and I hope that becomes a regular series, because he does a lot of cooking, and I love seeing everything he comes up with. Um, it's quite like, um, Rob. Rob is very, uh, my Rob, um... He's better in the kitchen than I am. He's he's a pretty good cook. So, um, yes, yeah, so whenever he cooks, it's like a treat. So, anyway, I've got my script throws. Um, and I'm just going to start typing up my script. Um, I'm hosting in Anaganish. Um, Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. So I better have my voice back and, uh, be feeling better because I have to leave at 6.30 in the morning to get there. So it's an early start and it's probably going to be a three hour shoot and then another three, three and a half hour drive back here. So yeah, it's going to be a long day. So anyway, I am going to start typing this stuff up. Actually, now I'm thinking about that. I'm actually first going to go put a load of wash on because I'm just looking at the time and I haven't done any laundry yet. And it's 20 after 8 and they don't like using the laundry past 9.30. So it looks like I'm going to be using the laundry past 9.30 because of... Uh, but anyway, I'm going to put some laundry in and so I'm going to go do that now. <laughs> is all typed up. I have one throw and back cell still to put in. Um, but it's at the office, so <coughs> excuse me. Um, 
I'll just stick that in in the morning on uh, Monday. But other than that, my script is all typed up and ready to go for Wednesday. <laughs> much farther I didn't make cherry pie didn't make bread didn't make cinnamon rolls um, my bedding just went in the dryer um, the rest of the laundry has not been done the bathroom the kitchen nothing has been done um, I'm gonna go do the kitty litter right now and sweet mop and vacuum has not been done <clears throat> Uh, that script is done. I didn't get any of this done or that. Um, I don't even think I have it mentally in me to try to do any of this tonight. Um, <clears throat> Layla is my supervisor. Are you my supervisor? Am I doing a good job? Am I doing a good job? Are you checking to see if Give Layla treats is on the list. Is that what you're looking for? Are you looking for tweets? <laughs> Layla's little box has changed and now she's eating her treats. She likes to make a mess all over the floor and over the side of her dish as you can see. Silly kitty. You have to have a full dish otherwise she doesn't want to eat it. Right? Right? I see you. You say hello to everybody? You want to say hello to everybody? <coughs> Was your box nice and fresh? Was your box nice and fresh? Everything all cleaned out? Did you improve? Silly girl. Yeah, that's the recycling. Ugh. I have stuff to put in it before I can to get rid of it, so it has to be there. I also did the dishes. So those are all cleaned up out of the sink. Those are all piled up, ready to go <clears throat> to wash in the morning. So I've just got to wait for the bedding to go out come out of the uh, come out of the dryer um, I probably won't even bother making the bed tonight I'll just wait for the morning and I'll just throw some other blankets on just to cover it um, yeah just not feeling it right now all right so I think I'm going to end it here for the night I just took my cough medicine and I'm about to take my antibiotics and I, I'm just gonna grab my um, bedding when it comes out of the dryer which should be in about 15 minutes so it should be ready um, and I'll just take it out and uh, I think I'm just gonna crawl into bed I may read a bit I might just no I'm not gonna read I'm gonna watch Dee's video that she just posted yeah so um, I'll link her channel down below I really like Dee's um, vlogs and I'll link the Jones family uh, vlogs as well um, they're a fun family so and uh, they're also from uh, Eastern Canada they're from New Brunswick so yeah they're like neighbors <laughs> um, well province neighbors <laughs> still neighbors um, yeah so I'm gonna call call it here um, I'm gonna pick up my list tomorrow morning so some of that list will be part of a tackle it Tuesday so you can stay tuned for that and uh, I think tomorrow we're heading I'm gonna head to the zoo and go for some uh, dinner um, afterwards so um, I might vlog a little bit of that um, I might actually put it on my Instagram more than because uh, you've seen me go I've been to the zoo I think a couple of times and I think I've vlogged it so I'll link I'll link uh, the video of the last one of the last times I was at the zoo up here so you can check that out and uh, yeah if you follow me on Instagram it's uh, Celtic Lassie underscore YT and uh, I'll probably uh, vlog a little bit on there tomorrow while we're out and about all right so I hope you all had a great day um, and that you got some stuff checked off your to-do list it's okay if you don't get all of it but you know you got some so I'm gonna say good night and I'll see you until next time <laughs>